pardon, and I will introduce uh, the issues of my presentation in English. English is not my mother language, neither for most of you. Therefore, if you will have any question, if you will not understand some of the things I'll say, please stop me. So, <clears throat> the purpose of my presentation is to show you that it's possible to introduce an open source software into a, a corporation, a big company, uh, fulfilling the needs of uh, preparation of the people working there. So it's possible, it's not, uh, uh, it's not so far away to introduce an open source software into a big company. Out from these rooms uh, where people are sensitive to these contents, uh, these concepts are not so granted. So let me say a couple of words about uh, the company I work for since uh, 26 years ago. And uh, the name is SACMI. We're located close to Bologna, the north of Italy. SACMI is a cooperative. It's a worldwide group today, uh, giving uh, work to more than 4,000 people worldwide. SACMI is a cooperative and it started in 1919, after the First World War. And uh, since then, today is a worldwide presence in a different kind of business. So we are almost everywhere in the world. One of our motto, one of our slogan is, we are where you are. And uh, in fact, it's true. You can perceive I'm very proud to work for this company and I feel it mine, uh, indeed. Uh, why I'm showing you this, not because I pretended to sell you anything, but because I would like you to understand uh, the complex, uh, how complex is the reality of SACME. Different kind of business, different uh, uh, business units, uh, and uh, uh, a volume of business, as you can see, quite, uh, quite big. Uh, yeah, around 4,000 uh, employees uh, at, the, at the end of last year. And uh, we're very proud to invest every year a tenth of uh, millions of euros in research and development. I'll try to be quick, but again, I'm showing you these slides because I would like you to understand the complexity, just that, and the application of EDS uh, there. So the main business of SACME is ceramic. We are the worldwide leader in providing solutions for the manufacturing of ceramic. We do not produce ceramic. We, we manufacture the machines and the equipment for the manufacturing of ceramic. Okay? So if you have ceramics at home, at home well, there's 80% probability, 75 to 80% probability that they have been manufactured with SACME machines. And in sanitary too. Our position uh, is uh, the first one. We are the leader in the world, the manufacturing plants uh, and the technological solution for the, for the manufacturing of uh, sanitary wear, tableware, and, uh, well, generally speaking, uh, uh, sanitary wear you have at home. So in Europe, uh, over 85% of these objects are manufactured with SACME machines. But what I would like to talk to you today is uh, about a different uh, business unit of SACME, that is beverage, closures and beverage. So yes, they have nothing to do with each other. No, we're not talking about another company, still SACME, with different, completely different businesses. Okay? So we're talking now about uh, uh, beverages line. It means the manufacturing of the beverages you can drink at home how to manufacture a bottle of uh, soft drink. You start from the plastic, you manufacture the plastic bottle, you fill the bottle, you label the bottle, you have to cap the bottle to put all them together into a primary packaging and then make a pallet and then delivery. Okay, so all this together with the automation is uh, our business. But again, and I'll try not to bore you. What I would like to talk to you today is about the implementation of Ilias in a specific section of that, that is the manufacturing of closures machines. Chrome caps, Kronen Korken. Eh? So we are the worldwide leader in delivering this technology. 
around 90-92% of uh, Kronen Korken manufactured in the world are manufactured with Sacni machines. Yes, space seems no, to have nothing to do with what I told you before, but this is our business. We are the worldwide leader in uh, delivering this technology. And uh, the Kronen Korken is also part, part of my personal history since I started as a technician for these kind of machines. So when you open up uh, uh, next beer, have a look inside, and uh, these kind of things uh, are manufactured by Sacmi. So uh, from the beer uh, to, to, to the sanitary, so you're, you're with Sacmi all, all along the, the, well, whatever. So uh, t still talking about uh, closures, not only crown, crowns, but also any kind of closures. Okay, plastic closures also. And uh, it is about plastic closure I would like to talk to you today. How Elias creates value if introduced inside a chain of production, manufacturing equipment for these purposes. How it has been possible to introduce Elias in SACME? Because we, didn't, we, we did have a, a, a need we were in need of uh, putting order in our uh, training documentation, and since 2003, we, we felt this need very urgently. And so it was necessary to introduce uh, something, in this case a software, capable to put order. But in 2003, it was not uh, said, it was not taken for granted uh, to have an open source of software into a big corporation. And in fact, we did have some difficulties at the beginning to change the mind of the people because this software does that. It does change the way people perceive themselves through learning. And so we went over the years with the collaboration, uh, uh, with, the collaboration with Open Consulting that helped us to start off the project uh, and to make possible to produce uh, our own courses together with the uh, uh, assistance of them and today uh, we have uh, plenty of courses and the entire closure division is uh, covered by courses produced uh, in, in Ilias. Okay, where is, uh, where is the, uh, the, the interest thing? Okay, up today I told you things that you might have seen already somewhere else. Okay, what? Eh? So you introduced a new software and now you enjoy it. Okay, where's the point? The point is the capability to add value. What a company looks for is not the implementation of a solution, but to make one plus one equal to three, not to two. So where is the added value of this solution? The fact that we have been able to standardize the procedures that mostly affect our clients in, uh, from the economical point of view. And what is that? When you have a trouble, when you have a bad cap, when you have a, a bad bottle. So Elias, with its own structure, with the repository, and this rigid, rigid um, scheme forces the operators to follow specific instruction and from our point of view, from the point of view of the company, we are sure that each and every operator will follow a certain, a certain sequence of steps in order to solve the problem on the machine. Well, now you, can, you could tell me, okay, so any else software, other software can do that, not in the way Elias does, because from our point of view, Elias gave us the possibility to reuse each and every time strings of text and video in a specific way without reproducing them. So if I have more machines with a specific problem and that problem can be solved repeating certain procedures, I don't have to reproduce the content. I use that content again so I can standardize my procedures and so my people and my clients will follow the same actions in the same chronological way. This is something that's very difficult to find in the market. This is the added value of uh, Elias. 
So we troubleshoot the behavior of the machine and we troubleshoot the product. Okay, so for example, we have a dirty cap and now we have to understand uh, from where this problem came from, okay? Elias became the structure for that. We tried many other softwares, uh, from PowerPoint to other structured uh, commercial softwares, and we were not able to find uh, the easiness of compilation of a troubleshooting like we did with uh, Elias. And again, uh, the exportation is something that uh, uh, the exportation of the courses man produced in Ilias is something that uh, Roberto explained to you. But I would like to tell you something more technical. And please watch me, because you are now going to sleep. Eh? Because this is technical. Watch me, please. Eh? So, exportation of HTML. Eh? Uh, I refuse personally to learn how to program in HTML. I I'm a technician. I don't want to... to, to write the codes, okay, lines of codes. But why I need your attention? Because the exportation of Ilias can be guided through the attribution of specific codes. Follow me, don't sleep. These codes make possible to have certain strings of text to be attached to other HTML objects, okay? So now you are my colleague from the technical department and you designed the machine and I have to respect you, yeah, I love you. And so you write down the error codes of that machine when it stops, okay? When the machine stops for this reason, it's that sensor that stopped. When it stops for this reason, another photocell stopped that. And you are the one who designs the machine, but I'm the one that uses it. Well, I know that when that sensor fails, it's not because of the sensor, it's because my client forgot to, to lubricate, because he forgot to do something, okay? I have the added value to the original information. How to put these things together? I know something more than him on the field. My information is an added value for the client. How to put these things together? Should I tell to the client? Nah. Let's put my knowledge inside the alarm code that he wrote. <coughs> and so the client receives the official message. This machine stopped because of the sensor number five. So then what the hell? Probably you forgot to do this. You should check that. You should do this and watch. That is the added value. And so again, now you can stop watching me because we get back to the, eh, to the more human relation and not so technical. So Elias allow you to do so, to export a fake course that become an addition to the um, list of alarms, the troubleshooting produced by the uh, software to the programmer of uh, the machine. Okay, and this is, I, I've not seen anything like this before. This is one plus one equal three. This is practice. And it is appreciated by our clients, I tell you so. Elias can be loaded into the HMI, the human machine interface, and we can have our uh, courses with videos, procedures, troubleshooting, etc. inside the machine and you can see the video prior executing it, okay? Is it so fancy? Yes, because out from this room, the people who see that perceive the immediate utility Clients and management in general perceive the added value of having the information immediately available. Now I know what you think. If you load it on the information on the machine, it is freezed. It will be not updated. Welcome to my world. But to have this information immediately available, close to the machine, it's a great added value. We sold many contracts with this feature. Added value, real added value. And so, I would like to conclude telling you that uh, Elias helped us to create value all along the steps of this uh, theoretical map that I tried to, to sketch up here. 
So when we got a new client, when we try to achieve a new client, what do we do? We, uh, we have an assessment of needs of the client. We try to understand the, the needs of the client. Okay? Then we provide a, a solution that we try to, to propose as much complete as possible. Okay? A plant for ceramic is over 150 meters long for, I don't know how, tens of meters large. It, it, they are huge installations. So complete solution design, the purpose of SACBI to fulfill and exceed the, the needs of our clients. The first training, people come to, to our company and then they don't have a clue of the technology and so we have to expose them for the first time. Installation and startup for sure, we have to send our technicians there to install and start up uh, the equipment, uh, the complete lines. We work side by side with them uh, during the coaching and then the client finally start up the operation. After a while anyway, it's necessary to carry out a second training, a wrap-up training. After a while, it will be necessary to carry out the first uh, serious maintenance on the, on the equipment and then again, uh, <laughs> there might be the need of coaching because of turnover of people and then after a while they become these equipment become old and then you have to audit there and uh, propose uh, some improvement. Eh? It's difficult to find uh, one of these moments where the preparation through Ilias is not adding value. Assessment, who does the assessment? Our salespeople, they need to know how to manufacture a closure or to manufacture a tile or a, a sanitary ware. So we have to prepare them with Ilias. Complete solution design. The project manager must know the product, must know the different solution and our range of products, how to teach them. Eh? So with Ilias, the first training, it goes with itself. I use it every day, it's my nightmare eh? and my love. Every day the first uh, application that I have to open is Ilias. And then installation and startup. My colleagues uh, go there and they cannot remember everything. They must uh, bring with them more knowledge than what they have through the availability of Ilias. Uh, coaching, yeah, we are there. I show you the reality and the representation of reality through videos. Then coaching, okay, then the operation. The client is left alone, is not left alone. The I'm still with the client uh, with my courses, uh, and so I put distance uh, from now and the moment uh, the client uh, will become more independent. So I can stay side by side with the client, uh, adding value to his own operation. And then going on with, uh, again, training, maintenance, coaching, audit, and the possible new solution together with Ilias. We have been uh, rushing through many different concepts, but I would like to, to tell you is that, uh, and I conclude, it is possible to implement an open source software and uh, make possible also that this software provides an added value. Thank you.